right, let's see if this comes out right. I don't, it's not rehearsed. I'm just thinking that Andrew Yang is uh, very right about UBI. And um, I can think of a number of reasons why. And that it's not just some wacky, you know, experiment that hasn't been thought out. No, no, no. I uh, was recently fired from Whole Foods. Anybody knows much about them? They're owned by Amazon, and uh, Jeff Bezos just cut uh, all kinds of benefits to workers. And uh, since since they took over, I mean, they're like if we go into a Whole Foods sometime. Like they're a step away from having drones doing the work. You know, uh, even. The employee name tag be like hey i heard that there's a barcode on your name tags is that true yeah it's true they'll lift it up in the back of the name tag there's where like say a customer wants to uh you know find milk and a certain kind and you know we didn't have it you know like sorry we're out of that I'm like okay like the personal shopper people and they scan the back of your name tag and uh you know, kind of like, ooh, is he telling the truth? Were they really out of it? Was he really giving, you know, like, basically, if you can't mimic the behavior and the, like, the efficiency of a robot, they fire you. That's what happened to me. It's a really labor-intensive department, the meat department, and uh, I was doing just fine. My coworkers liked me just fine. And I believe that I was, it was, essentially for not being able to keep you know yeah they don't need breaks they don't need uh, to go to the bathroom they don't need to eat they don't need to do anything the robot can just keep doing it and it's probably going to be yeah people shopping in a health food store without people at some point so i don't think he's wrong about that so automation just i don't think it's a threat just to like oh a robot's going to replace this job no i think it's a threat in the sense that like it's it's creating a new unattainable standard because no person some people, I'm sure, can keep up with that that robot shit. But um, it's it's setting, yeah. It's it's an un, you always hear about like unattainable beauty in magazines and shit like that. Well, this is unattainable like work. No, nobody can keep up with that. Know, like it's like maybe if you could. I don't want to get too off you know track. The point is, is I'm having a fucking hell of a time uh, finding something else. And it's it's been a nightmare, and I'm in panic constantly. I made. I, I play music, right? In a moment of not being able to sleep at like 4 a.m., I made a sign. It's, it says what the instrument is. I even put down financially terrified at the bottom. And uh, went and played music outside of a store down the street from me. I made a dollar in an hour. The weather hasn't been great. It's been a really weird, wet September. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. But uh, anyway. I don't know, just Andrew Young, this, he's right about UBI, because I, Freedom Dividend were a real thing, I would not be in this situation right now. And would it be like, oh, he's able to pay rent, so now he's just going to like sit around and do nothing. No, 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 that's not how it's, he's right. Most people are not going to just want to like have only that to live on, especially if they have a family. So. Yeah, and you know, most places only hire part-time now anyway. Like, it's the, yeah, they only hire part-time. Uh, even like, so, like, I got turned down at Kroger. How the fuck that happens, I don't even know. I'm wondering, like, what the fuck is wrong with me? So, so for all kinds of reasons, uh, this would be life-saving for many people. And this anxiety that I'm experiencing would be lifted, okay? And like, there's a lot of other people with this financial anxiety is one of the worst kinds of anxiety. It really is. There's so much uncertainty and it just feels like doom. There was that video recently of the guy telling Bernie Sanders about his medical, you know, he had Huntington's and uh, that he was going to kill himself. Bernie uh, apparently like stayed, talked to him after and, uh, you know, helped him with a GoFundMe or something like that. But I mean, the guy still has the disease and he's still, so, it's just, I, I think that, you know, we, we really need to look at UBI, not even just from him, but just as, as an issue, as its own issue. Because I said this in a different video, we would see a wave of relief just sweep the nation of people just not having just a fucking claw struggle and be totally desperate. I mean, it sounds like you have money and you don't need it, then oh it's just money like yeah but that's because you that's because you have it 
not you personally, I'm just talking in general. I'm so I'm very frustrated, I'm very anxious, and Andrew Yang is right about UBI. So just, I just hope that more people can get behind this and stop seeing this as sort of kooky experiment that's like not really uh, practical. I think that this, what's happening now, this is not practical because this is not sustainable. This is not a sustainable way to live drowning in debt or not knowing how you're going to pay bills. Being anxious about a million different things is no way to live. And people, suicide rates are higher than they've ever been. Do you think that it's a coincidence there's an opioid epidemic right now that people are medicating left and right? And that it's, oh, oh yeah, what a coincidence. Why is it happening? Is this what you always hear? Why is there an opioid epidemic? Really? Why? I'm sorry, we'll see if I even post this. Just Yang is right about UBI, and I fucking I hope more people get behind it. And um, yeah, saved my life right now. So good luck to all of us, right?